All right, we're ready to begin. Yes. Whenever you are. I think we need to be sworn in first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. With your right hand raised, do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, I do. Thank you. Uh, good morning to the board. My name is Marcus Beltramo. I'm the uh, manager of the Code Enforcement Division. And I'm accompanied here today by Tina Ransberg, one of our code enforcement officers. And up, upon completion of an abatement, we come before the board to give an account and a, pro a proposed assessment for a lien against that property. And at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Tina to provide a, an account. Good morning. Um, the property we are discussing today is 13204 Second Street in Clear Lake Oaks, California. Um, it is a um, it is a R1 zoned um, single family resident home um, located in the Oaks. Um, in July 2021, our department became aware um, of a structure fire on the property, and a notice of nuisance in order to abate was posted to the property with the following violations. Here are some site photos of the condition of the property before the abatement was completed. Here is the um, asbestos crew um, cleaning up some of the contaminated material that was located on the property. Um, the property owner reflected on title is Tori Brannon. All mailings were sent to Brannon's address listed with county records. Uh, Brennan was arrested for arson for the fire occurring on her property as well as for other properties. Our uh, department received information that she was relocated from the Lake County Jail to a state facility and due to the fact that there was no legal responsible party able or willing to correct the violations, code enforcement moved forward with the abatement process to eliminate any health and safety issues. In May 2022, we obtained an inspection and abatement warrant from a Lake County um, Superior Court judge. And on May 3rd, the abatement was conducted by Leonard's Hauling and Tractor Service to remove the inop inoperable vehicles and other debris. And Leonard's Hauling had to subcontract to Select Environmental to remove the asbestos from the burnt um, structure because upon having an asbestos test completed, it was revealed that some of the material did contain asbestos on the property. Um, on the left is a before picture and on the right is after the lot was cleared. And these are some more after pictures of the um, property once it was abated. Um, in May 2022, compliance was attained and the property was returned to its original state. The total cost for abatement was $2,500 for Leonard's hauling. Um, Select Environmental was an additional $8,945. And the reason that the cost is um, so high to um, abate um, asbestos is because the only approved dumping site is located in Vacaville. And so um, you have to have special certification to remove asbestos material, and it has to be dumped at a specific location. And the administrative costs were $452.54. So staff recommends the Board of Supervisors confirm the assessment of $12,392.54 and direct staff to record a notice of lien against the property. Um, after recordation, it shall be delivered to the county auditor who shall enter the amount of the lien on the assessment roll as the special assessment. The cost of the abatement services are $11,940 and the administrative costs on this case um, amounted to $452.54. Is it possible to go back to the last slide? I just wanted to add something that there, I believe there was also a payment for a contractor to see if there was asbestos, because uh, I see on here that there was one for $495, and I just wanted to at least put it in public record for the, uh, uh, what everyone else is viewing. And it, what that, that was what it was about. It was testing to see if there was asbestos, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. 
All right. Thank you for that presentation. Uh, is there any questions from the board? Anybody on a, anybody in the public or on Zoom? I don't see anyone. All right. So we'll bring it back to the board for action. And uh, if anyone can uh, entertain this motion, that'd be great. Mr. Chair, I move to approve the proposed assessment of $12,392.54 for the property located at 13204 2nd Street, Clear Lake Oaks, California. Second. So I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you.